South Korea is more than capable of handling the North Korean threat by itself. 한국산 무기들의 대규모 수출이 전 세계를 거침없이 휩쓸고 있습니다. 스토콜름 국제평화연구소에 따르면 2017년부터 2021년까지 세계 방산 수출 시장에서 한국의 점유율은 2.8%로 8위를 기록했습니다. 4위 중국 4.6%, 5위 독일 4.5%, 6위 이탈리아 3.1%, 7위 영국 2.9%로 미세한 격차를 이루고 있는데요. 최근 전문가들은 이 추세대로 나면 곧 한국이 4위권을 차지할 것이라는 전망을 내놓았습니다. 특히 러시아 침공으로 안보에 불안을 느끼고 있는 우크라이나 인접 국가들이 군비 확장에 나서고 있죠. 현재 루마니아는 안보 불안을 해소하기 위해 가장 빠른 방법으로 한국을 찾았습니다. 폴란드, 슬로바키아의 한국산 무기 도입 소식에 이어 루마니아도 한국과 국방 협력할 것을 합의하며 한 루마니아 국방 협력 증진 의향서에 서명한 것이죠. 최근 루마니아 현지 언론은 한국의 K9 자주포와 K2 표전차 구입을 희망하고 있다고 보도했습니다. 이런 가운데 미국의 군사 전문 채널이 제작한 한국에 관한 다큐가 큰 화제입니다. 밀리터리 웨포는 무기, 탱크, 공군, 포병, 군용 헬리콥터, 잠수함 등 모든 종류의 무기와 군용 장비에 대한 전문 지식을 공유하는 채널인데요. 세계 각국이 미래 안보 환경을 주도하기 위해 국방과학기술의 역량을 집중하고 있는 현재 한국의 숨겨진 국방력에 대해 지나칠 정도로 상세하게 다루는 영상을 제작했습니다. 그리고 미국 국방 전문가들은 현재 한국의 국방력이 경계해야 될 만큼 강력하다고 말합니다. 방사는 국방력 강화뿐만 아니라 경제 성장을 위한 새로운 동력이 되기 때문입니다.
September of 2018. The Koreas agreed to cease all hostile acts. However, the deal did not mention any kind of new weapons. With North Korea under tight international sanctions, the North cannot afford an arms race. When it comes to conscription in South Korea, military service is compulsory for all males. South Korea's main military objective is to deter an attack by the North, and to that end, it has a mutual defense treaty with the United States and a large contingent of U.S. troops stationed within the country. All male citizens over the age of 18 are required to perform compulsory military service. Women are not required to perform service, but they may volunteer as officers, warrant officers, or non-commissioned officers. The length of compulsory military service varies based on service branches. Active duty enlisted personnel serve for 21 months in the Army or the Marine Corps, 23 months in the Navy, and 24 months in the Air Force. Commissioned officers, warrant officers, and non-commissioned officers are volunteer-based and serve longer terms than those of enlisted personnel or as a career. Non-active duty personnel such as social work personnel serve for various lengths and after conscripts finish their service they're automatically placed on the reserve roster. About Equipment In the late 20th century one of the hallmarks of a modern-day military was its country's ability to design and manufacture its own rifles. South Korea, an emerging military power, took that to heart, producing the K-2 assault rifle, a blend of good ideas borrowed from other rifles. The K-2 has served the Republic of Korea forces for 35 years, since 1984, and with a raft of upgrades, will serve for many more years to come. Mobile surface-to-air Patriot missile defense systems are one of South Korea's major weaponry systems. The K-200 Korean Infantry Fighting Vehicle is one of about 2,700 armored vehicles at the disposal of the South Korean Army. The Army also has M48A2 tanks, which are a diesel-powered variant of the United States-designed M48 Patton battle tank. When it comes to air power, they have a total air strength of 1,614 with 406 fighters, 466 attack, 40 transports, a helicopter strength of 777, and 112 attack helicopters. On land, its combat tanks range at 2,654 with 2,870 armored fighting vehicles self-propelled artilleries of 2,140, a towed artillery of 3,854 with 215 rocket projectors. And on sea, it has a total naval assets of 166 with one aircraft carrier, 13 frigates, 12 destroyers, 13 corvettes, 16 submarines, 64 patrol vessels, and 11 mine warfare vessels. What did you think about the ROK?